And to mark today's 50th anniversary of that hit, the city and county have declared today Roberto Clemente Day. A big celebration was held this afternoon at the site of the old Three Rivers Stadium. That's where we find KDKA's Ross Gadotti. Ross. I am standing where five decades ago home plate for Three River Stadium was located. Now it would have been one very happy seven-year-old from South Park who was a Buckos fan. Unfortunately, I didn't make it. Maz stood here, Willie Stargell stood here, but 50 years ago tonight, if you can imagine, Three River Stadium behind me, thousands of fans waiting for the moment when number 21 would step up and hit number 3,000. Today, that was when he obviously cemented his legacy, but today, well, they decided that they were going to dedicate a memorial, and this is where they've dedicated it to his greatness. Three River Stadium's hard rock astroturf is long gone. The fine dirt of the base paths now replaced with just blacktop. But thanks to Len Martin and the efforts of others, the location of home plate for Three Rivers is now known. It's the place where the great one took one final cut to get on base. Finding this place wasn't easy. Lots of blueprints. Three River Stadium blueprints, uh, taking those blueprints and overlaying them with Google satellite images. The home plate location, all part of a celebration of Roberto Clemente's 3,000th hit. There were, of course, many familiar faces and others who came a great distance for this moment. From Puerto Rico, that's a few, few thousand miles. <laughs> Philip Ruiz Lugo literally grew up in the neighborhood the Clementes called home. Clemente was my first idol. I never had an idol until I met Roberto Clemente. In Puerto Rico, most of the kids when I was my age, they want to be Roberto Clemente. There was another person who had a very personal connection to number 21 here today, a pirate legend in his own right. How lucky did I get? Former bucko and all around good guy, Steve Blass. You want to hear some good Bobby Clemente stories? Steve's your man. He had the ability to take a 10 year major league veteran and turn him into a 10 year old kid. The plate and second base are the start. There will be a first and third base and the pitcher's mound will also be added eventually. So generations can learn about Roberto Clemente and for those lucky enough to have seen him play, tell everybody they know that I remember Roberto. That's yeah, pretty amazing. It's been five decades. Uh, I, I can't leave you without telling you another Steve Blass story because if you ever talk to Steve Blass, you leave with an unbelievable amount of stories. He tells the story of how a couple seasons before the final hit, he was doing good. He had a couple wins in the major leagues and he felt kind of full of himself in a nice way. So he goes over to Roberto Clemente and he says to him, you know what, if I ever get traded, I'm going to pitch you inside because you'll never hit it. He said to Blast, he says, Blast, you pitch me inside, I'll hit that ball to Harrisburg. That was Roberto Clemente. As to when they're going to put this plate in permanently, that still has yet to be determined. Standing in the footsteps of legends, Ross Gadotti, KDK News.